we want to be able to identify guys if the if you know the first equation is can be represented as a definition derivative because remember there's three definitions of the derivative we've discussed right so before we do the limit which and this one just doesn't look like much fun I don't really want to rationalize the radical with radicals looking like that right it just looks too crazy for me however I kind of notice this looks very similar to the limit definition of a derivative and I'm just gonna do this one h going to 0 or let's just do delta x going to 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. I'm replacing delta x with h. That's OK with you guys. But guys, remember that was the definition of a derivative, right? That is that formal definition of derivative. So what am I really asking? I'm really asking is find the derivative of the function. So what I need to know is what is the function I'm trying to find the derivative of? Well, the nice thing about this limit definition is the function is right in front of your face, right? Me, honestly, function's right there. Correct? Now, I chose a horrible function to be able to do because this we cannot do um, in this class. So let's subtract. Dang it. Ugh, I chose wrong problems to do. We can't do derivatives yet like that. Um, Let's do this. Square roots. Dang it. God. Why did I do that? Well, what am I doing? What did I ch OK. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Let's just do this. Sorry, let's get rid of the square root. There we go. Let's keep the 4. What was that, plus 4 or minus 4? OK, no square root. Sorry about that. No square root. Here's the f of x, guys. It's right in front of us, right? Yes? f of x is right there, x squared minus 4. So therefore, all we're really doing is taking the derivative of x squared minus 4. That's what the answer is. Rather than doing all the work, we just need to find the derivative of x squared minus 4, which is very simple, which is just derivative of x squared minus 4? 2x. 2x, right? Falling asleep with 2x. Boom. That quick.